Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2019. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have a super fortunate, super expansive day taking place right in the middle of the month. It is gonna bless you emotionally, spiritually, and financially. It starts off though, the month, helping to set the stage with some sense of pressure that might be there that will ultimately give way to these very big blessings that find you. We've also got the second of two full moons back to back taking place this month, which is what some people call a blue moon. You add to this, your ruling planet Mercury will leave shadow some of the tougher things that have been happening with this Mercury retrograde season as of late will be more and more behind you as you move further into the month. So there's a lot here to talk about. Let's start with the new moon in the early part of the month. That is happening right around the fourth or fifth of the month, depending on where you are on the planet. And this particular full moon is going to be speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. So there's lots of expansive, hopeful energy around at this time, but it will also be speaking in conversations of tension with Pluto and with Saturn. Now, both of these uh, placements are moving through a part of the sky, slowly but surely, continuing to move through a part of the sky that has to do with a few things. Uh, where uh, Saturn is, where Pluto is, is an area that has to do with creativity, creative fulfillment, living a life that feels especially passionate. It also has to do with your children as well. This new moon is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with a few things also. It has to do with uh, your relationship with financial institutions and large uh, sums of money. It has to do with your definition of wealth, practically, emotionally, spiritually, and it has to do with meaningful transformation. So where is it that you put in the diligent effort to facilitate some sense of renewal, even rebirth in your life? Well, all of that is covered in this part of the sky. And so right away, when I look at this sort of literally, it does suggest uh, that money matters are going to be coming into focus. And it might be a little bit stressful, I'm sorry to say that, but here's the thing, there's also this hope, there's this amazing potential there for things being so much better than you could have imagined for yourself and for uh, feeling a great sense of wealth the more you move further into this month. But at least in the early part of the month, there might be a little bit of sacrifice, a little bit of focus that needs to happen or even looking at your own emotions around a particular situation. So I'll give you some examples here. The sky does suggest this month uh, that home could be a great source of wealth for you. So whether that is buying, selling, uh, moving, new roommate, um, these could bring great blessings into your life this month and over the course of the month. However, uh, this part of the sky does also suggest along with that might come some mixed feelings, uh, might come some deeper questions as to whether or not this is a change that you truly want and how you feel about it. And if you're gonna have fun where it is that you end up going. Uh, this could be the kind of sky that does suggest one of your children, where that applies, but one of your children um, wants to provide for you or has more to give in terms of um, prosperity, right? So that could be in practical ways in terms of money or in other ways. There might be some mixed feelings on your part around that and what change uh, might entail. It may be that you feel that your child is making a sacrifice for you and there are mixed feelings around that. So these are some ways in which this energy can play out where it comes to matters of funding. So I'll give you another example. If you are someone who has a home-based business, you work from homes or with homes, this can be a very prosperous time. We have several things happening over the course of the month that indicate this. However, some of that prosperity may be linked to, especially in the early part of the month, may be linked to um, certain tasks 
or clients or activities that don't really feel like they're tapping into what you are really passionate about or what it is that you really want to be doing most right now. And so regardless of what comes up, know that there is ultimately that sense of some sacrifice, but also some sense of being honest with yourself about what it is that you really want and ultimately recognizing how much prosperity is available to you, which is in of itself a great blessing. Now, as I said, this part of the sky is also connected to meaningful transformation, a change within you. And where it is that you've been hoping to get more clear, uh, to more diligently tap into your own creative voice and allow that to facilitate more broader transformations in your life, practically or personally, it is going to be this new moon that helps to put you on that journey. And even though there is in the early part of the month, this energy that feels a little bit challenging, and for some, I'm sorry to say, but for some it might feel quite a bit challenging. It is as we get to the very middle of the month that the rewards will be there. Your efforts, your questions, uh, your journey will not be in vain. Because by the time we get you right to the middle of the month, right around the 14th, we have a beautiful, supremely harmonious connection playing out between the sun, in the same part of the sky that the new moon is in and Jupiter. And this is one of the luckiest days of the year. So this sets up a very fortunate climate for you to take advantage of that ultimately is going to ensure that you feel that much more prosperous, especially as we get to the middle of the month and things start to come together for you. So trust what it is that feels like it's asking to change. Uh, wherever it is that you may be feeling some tension, it is asking for action. It is asking for you to recognize where you have power, where you don't, and to take ownership and to take action in the direction that you desire to go. And it is ultimately in that diligence that you show towards your own transformation or transforming a particular situation that you able and are able to align yourself that much more with greater prosperity. Now here's some other things to keep in mind with this as well. It is also possible in the early part of the month that you may be wanting funding from a particular financial institution, and that could be part of what stirs up your own feelings or your own uncertainty. By the time we get you to the middle of the month, we've got this beautiful energy that makes all things possible and helps you to attract just the resources you need to do just what it is that you are desiring to do. Now, as we move later into the month, right around the 19th, we are going to have a full moon. And some astrologers call this a blue moon. And the reason is because it is the second full moon in the same part of the sky as we had last month. So last month, right around the equinox, we had a full moon taking place. Now full moons bring with them closure and culmination and fruition. However, it was at the very beginning of its respective sign. So with that sense of what was closing, there was a sense of an exciting new beginning. Well, now with this full moon, it is happening at the very end of its respective sign, which brings that element of closure very much to the forefront, which adds a level of intensity to this time as well. Now it is this full moon that will be speaking in harmony with Jupiter. So there's lots of promise for uh, healing, for growth, for prosperity that is there, especially linked to matters of home working from home or working with the homes, uh, working within homes, uh, or if it has to do with you understanding how you're gonna actually use where you live to create more prosperity for yourself. However, we also have Uranus standing across the sky from this full moon as well. So there is this wild card factor, this unpredictable factor, this factor where a matter may come up very much by surprise and have to be addressed rather quickly. And this full moon is happening in the part of the sky that has to do with financial matters as well, that it has to do with money that you earn and money that you spend. That's one part of it. The other part of it, outside of finances, it has to do with understanding self-esteem and self-worth in a healthier way and elevating your sense of healthy self-love. So it can be that these spiritual and emotional lessons come to the forefront at this time with this full moon. But at the same time, it is very possible that um, there is a matter having to do with money, 
that comes to the forefront as well. So for some, this may be an opportunity to earn more money that comes out of the blue, that comes by surprise. For others, it could be an expense. Again, it comes out of surprise. However, because of that harmonious connection with Jupiter, everything you need is there and everything you need is provided for. And there's the real potential there and your willingness to recognize what it is that you can do that ends up opening up more and more opportunity for you beyond just this month. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we are gonna have the first three weeks of the month with Venus continuing to move through your opposite sign. Venus entered this part of the sky late last month. And so this energy continues to bless you. It is now that Venus is going to reach out to other power players over the course of this month, adding that much more opportunity and stability and just intensity as well to your attractions and to your partnerships. I do feel, especially as we move later into the month, when Venus changes signs, moves into a part of the sky that has to do with a more profound bonding with another person, well, that's when you're gonna allow yourself to feel that much more vulnerable and have a desire for a connection that feels that much more real. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, it is the first three weeks of the month that hold a lot of potential for you. There's a lot of promise here and the possibility of attracting somebody into your life with real long-term potential is there as well. There will be many uh, particularly important, intense or romantic moments that happen throughout uh, the first three weeks of this month that ultimately not only will be memorable to you, um, but very likely present you with these windows to actually connect with people in meaningful ways. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this is recognizing whether or not there is a long-term potential there. And chances are there's going to be at least one moment in the first half of the month where it is going to feel a little bit like a reality check moment. Is this someone that you feel you want to continue to create something stable? Do, does this person feel that way as well? Is it that you feel uh, that you want to actually put things into place that you hope will grow into more and more in the fullness of time? Well, where it is that the connection is genuine, where it is that you truly feel like this is someone you truly could be with for the long term, well, that is going to become abundantly obvious to you. But if it is that that's not the case, if you're compromising in some way that feels like it's too much or it's not worth it to you, then you're going to admit that this month and be willing to make the changes that you need to. For those of you who are in an established bond, I feel like you and your partner are going to be on a journey for the first part of the month of knowing each other more deeply and just enjoying each other's company. That is really what having Venus in your opposite sign means. But with Venus connecting to other power players the way that she will, it does suggest plenty of moments where you are feeling loved. Now, as we move later into the month, right after the 20th, when Venus changes signs, we enter a phase where uh, Venus moving into this part of the sky tends to be really nice for your spouse's income. So you may find that your connection with your spouse um, allows more prosperity into your life. The other part of this energy though, is a desire for true vulnerability and it may be that you have moments with your partner that feel different, that feel as if you are more deeply understood and that feel as if you're able to trust that much more. And this in turn will be part of what bonds the two of you that much closer together. What I love about this month for you, well look, I love the energy of prosperity and recognizing how it's playing out in your life. There is emotional prosperity, spiritual prosperity, and yes, wealth in practical terms as well. And even if there is a situation in the early part of the month that feels like it has you scrambling or focusing or needing uh, to take an honest evaluation, not necessarily feel comfortable, it really is okay. Because by the time we get to the middle of the month, the energy transforms in such powerful ways and you are able to open a gate, if you will, where there's just more a greater sense of fulfillment, a greater sense of connection, and a greater sense of just how generous and loving and wise the universe can be. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.